Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to use a student lab notebook to write a chemistry lab report. So your first step is to open to a clean page in your notebook and you'll notice that the pages are numbered in the top right hand corner. For each number there's going to be two pages that correspond with that number. So the first step is to find the divider that's in your book. It usually has a periodic table on it and you're going to place that between the two number set pages. So in my case I'm placing it between page set 8 and page set 9. So I'm going to have my two 8 pages on top of the divider. So this means that you're ready to write. It's important to remember that when working in your lab notebook that you want to use a pen in order to make sure that the information is going to copy onto the copy page of your lab notebook. So to begin you're going to fill out the top section which has your experiment number, experiment subject, the date, your name, your lab partner's name, the locker and desk number, you were Yuxian number of your course. So, the left side of your notebook is going to be used for rough work and observations during the experiment, while the right side is where the good copy of your report is going to go. So we'll begin by filling in the top section. So again, the left side of the page is going to be used for the work that you do during the lab, so you can record anything that you need to on this side. So once you've completed the lab and you have the work that you need on the left side of your page, you're going to have your lab TA signature at the bottom to show that you have the material that you need in order to write your good copy of your report. So once you're ready to start with the good copy of your report, you're going to go to the right side of the page. And for this, we're going to be using an investigative experiment as an example. So we're going to start off with the purpose. Next, you're going to move on to procedure and observations. Then you're going to add a conclusion. When you filled your first page up, you're going to move on to the next page set. So in my case, I take the two nine pages and place the divider behind them and move on to write on this side. You may also include a reference section if you used a source such as the internet or a lab manual to and reference that within your report. You'll notice that the writing that you did copied exactly onto the second page. And so once you're done, you can rip out the first page of each page set and leave the yellow copy in. Close this one. And leave the yellow copy in. And now this is ready to hand in to your lab TA.